first of all, a disclaimer that the video content has been made available for information and educational purpose only. And uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about a tool that is used to, uh, for enumeration or the cipher suite enumeration. Uh, or this can be said that this is used for detecting HTTPS encryption parameters. So we know that for uh, communication between client and server, this is the, with HTTP, this was not secure. And to make this communication secure, we can use different protocols like we can use TLS, SSH, or OpenVPN. And those protocols by themselves makes use of some encryption techniques. And there are some uh, block ciphers. So in block cipher encryption techniques, the data which we want to encrypt, that data is divided into blocks. And uh, then there are, if, if the block size is small, then they, they can be vulnerable uh, to different attacks. And there are some examples which use actually, in, uh, also use big, I mean large size, but they also use small block sizes and they are triple this, AES and Blowfish. And small block size is vulnerable to many attacks, like one of the attacks is Sweet32 attack. And in Sweet32 attack, the, this can cause a min, man in the middle attack. So this is like man in the middle attack. And uh, as a result of that man in the middle attack, the communication which is going on between client and server can be recovered. Uh, so plain text data can be recovered. So now we will use that uh, some tool here. So we will try to find out that what kind of encryption are being used or what kind of protocol and version is being used. And if you know that some of the encryption or the block size or, or if you know that the maybe vulnerable protocol is being used on the server, then this will be uh, some kind of information which we can use later on for our pen testing or for ethical hacking. And now for demonstration, I have this Kali Linux machine and uh, I also have a vulnerable web application, which is this Wasp broken web application. You can see in some other video of mine where I have shown this one. Anyway, this is some uh, web application, vulnerable web application and from Kali Linux machine. Yeah, so from Kali Linux machine, I'll demonstrate the use of that uh, tool that is SSL scan. And on this web application, we can have some vulnerable um, uh, encryption being used. So we will try to detect out the in encryption and the protocol which are which may be vulnerable for different attacks. Or, we, or maybe we'll use, uh, uh, we can enumerate that with the help of this SSL scan. So for that, uh, uh, these two machines are actually on the host only network. And uh, you can see the IP address for this machine where we have the vulnerable application. The IP address is 192.168.33.135. And this is Kali Linux machine. And the Kali Linux machine, we are going to uh, start uh, this, launch this terminal here. And uh, to make it visible, let's do it like this here. So now we have this terminal ready. And now in this terminal, we can use uh, the IP address of uh, the machine where we have our web application. So this is the web application. And then we simply, we can use SSL scan. That is the keyword of the tool which we are using. And then we give the IP address of uh, the target machine, or we can have like HTTP, whatever IP, like uh, we can have URL here. And we can also see like SSL minus H as well. So with this, we can have all the information, how we can use it. So you can see this is SSL scan. And then there are some related commands which we can ask for more. So this is that SSL scan options and then host or port number. And then we have the host here. So uh, uh, we are just using the host here, host and port. Uh, we can use port as well, but uh, let's see. We will, I'll show you that how we'll be using here. And then you can see further options here for IPv4, IPv6, and certificate, show certificate, and there are many no check certificates. It means we can also use this for certificate, but for uh, today we will just use that SSL scan. And then we will simply give the uh, IP address of our target machine. So the IP address of our target machine is here. Uh, so that is 192, 192, sorry. Uh, sorry for that SSL scan scan and then we have to numlock and 192.168.33.131 
let me verify again i think this was 131 so sorry this was 135 so we click uh, we give 135 and then we press enter and you can see with this it has started scanning uh, enumerating our target machine you can see this is connected to one this uh, this target machine and testing ssl server on port 443 so 443 is for uh, use uh, is the port for https and you can see these are some protocols so ssl v2 is disabled and ssl v3 is enabled ssl 1.0 is enabled ssl 1.1 one is enabled so you can see which protocols are, um, are enabled and uh, in addition to uh, in addition to that we can see this TLS fallback SC, SV and then what how they are nego uh, renegotiation the connection you can see the client and server can renegotiate the connection between them and in this negotiation or renegotiation phase they can actually uh, maybe negotiate different kind of uh, encryption being used um, handshake process and then you can see the server what kind of uh, ciphers they are using so the preferred one is TLS v 1.0 and uh, uh, you can see how many bits 256 bits are being used here and then you can see the SSL certificates here the SSL certificate what is the strength of that RSA key, RSA key. and then this is the web application which we are using here and so this is somehow we can get some information about the um, cipher suite or the encryption or some other process which is used for to make communication secure so that is being uh, shown all the information about that and uh, as, and in addition to that we also have some script which we can also run and for that we use nmap tool so to use that so we have the nmap and in nmap we use uh, we can use a selfie scan so let's say minus st or maybe sv and maybe both we can use for a version number as well so with these switches we can specify the port number we want to use so port is 443 for https and then we can specify the script which we want to use and the name of that script will be ssl emumnm and then cipher c i p h e r s cipher so this is the name of the script which we will run against our target machine to find out uh, the the cipher suite and then we have to specify our target so target is 192.168.33.1 uh, and then we press enter so this will also be enumerating the cipher suite being used on the server and if the cipher suite is weak if they are using some weaker version of ssl let's say so like not every version of tls so tls uh, is the recent one so tls and not every version is as secure as the recent one are so i think the current version of tls is 1.3 so 1.0 if a server machine is configured with tls 1.0 it means that is weak and we should not use it that is uh, that can be attacked and with this tool you can see it has given us nmap scan report for the target machine and you can see the support state service you can see this 443 support and this open and ssl https apache so this is the apache version which is running on our target machine which is there and then we can see this uh, ssl enumeration cipher so ssl uh, v3 these are the ciphers used there on the server machine here and then this they also give the information about compressors as well and uh, you can see this is the these are the ciphers and you can get the information about the length of that and then yes these letters a to f so these letters a to f are uh, showing the strength of the connection a means they are strong so here you can see this all all of uh, because this is a vulnerable application which is hosted on our target machine and this you can see here at one of the connection it says that insecure certificate signature and then we also have a possibility of a suite 32 attack for this vulnerable machine it says that 64 bit block cipher triple dash vulnerable to this one it means this is being used and there is also a warning message and all the information about what kind of encryption are being used at the server and for the information you can see about http server header this can also be very much helpful in collecting information uh, on 
So yeah, so this was some, uh, I mean, uh, video about the enumeration of cipher suite being used as a server machine. So generally the concept is that, that if we are using TLS, then we are secure, but this again depends on the length of the block. So block length, if this is small, then this can be vulnerable of, uh, to different attacks, like man in the middle attack, and in the result we can have, we can, I mean, this connection can also be compromised even if we are using TLS. So this is, I mean, this, these are two tools which we can combinely use to get further information for our information gathering phase. Uh, and then after this information, maybe we can come up with different tools which can be helpful to attack the machine, right? So this is it, I think, for this uh, video on Cypher Suite enumeration. Hope to see you in some other video. Thank you.